Can the Timeless String Quartet evolve to captivate the diverse audiences of the 21st century? I think I can, and here are my top five essentials for a modern string quartet. First, balance of artistry and technique. A modern string quartet needs to have the ability to play basically anything and at a high level, but this cannot be at the expense of artistry that breathes life into the music. This artistry includes interpretation, a unique group sound, and a thoughtful shared expression throughout the group. These elements of artistry are what allow a single piece of music to come to life in different ways depending on who's playing it. Take for instance the single bar of Beethoven as played by the amazing Dover Quartet. As opposed to that same bar of music as played by the also amazing Danish Quartet. Next is seamless navigation of genre. For ages, string quartets have navigated genres, but the genres of the past were categorized into distinct musical eras. Broke, classical, romantic, 20th century, minimalism, and modern. Added to those styles for a modern quartet are rock, pop, and folk. Each of these contemporary styles introduce additional unique rhythmic traits and sound approaches. But they're no more varied than the genres of the past, there's just more of them. The seamless integration of diverse genres showcases a quartet's versatility and adaptability to an ever-changing or ever-evolving musical landscape. Third, going beyond your instrument. Every member of any serious string quartet has dedicated thousands of hours to their instruments, and for good reason. The instruments of the string quartet are some of the most difficult, and the music that's written for them even more so. Still, the ears of a modern listener are used to a collage of sounds far wider than what can be offered by a string quartet. Augmenting the sound of the quartet with additional instruments, sort of voices, percussion, or electronics, can both enhance the experience for the listener and allow the aging quartet to navigate the current musical vernacular. For the added instruments, you need more practice. But for the electronics, you need my next point, the ability to self-produce. Our instruments may be analog, but our abilities need to extend into the technological and digital realms. This not only allows quartets to work directly with composers and manage required technical setups, but also offers invaluable opportunities for self-improvement. Have you ever recorded yourself? Collaboration with other artists and business growth. Mastering self-production can lead to higher quality recordings, more innovative projects, and greater control of artistic output. Building a home studio and teaching myself engineering skills have been pivotal steps in both mine and Bayo's journey. These efforts have led to recording commissions for prestigious labels like Novona and Centaur Records. We've also released four of our own albums, each of which has opened many doors for additional work or amazing collaborations. This experience has allowed us to navigate and thrive in an ever-adapting music industry. If you're still with me and you haven't done so already, throw the channel a subscription or leave a comment. These things really help the channel grow and I really appreciate the help. On to the last thing. The 21st century string quartet can create works that bridge gaps. For live concerts, we'd love to do a full Beethoven cycle, and there's an audience for it, but it's still not for everyone. On the flip side, we're not going to bring a rock-induced minimalistic piece to a Schubert Society. Our online listeners, however, are not so conveniently segmented, thankfully. In today's digital age, a string quartet can embrace the creation of engaging music that captivates the diverse audiences online. This is best achieved when the first four components have already been adopted. I wrote a work for Bale called El Balcón. You're hearing it and seeing it right now. This work speaks to the listeners of today. It requires all of our musical training. It pushes our abilities outside of our instruments. It demands technique and artistry. It was produced and recorded here in our studio by me, and above all, maintains the essence of the string quartet. El Balcón is the ideas of a 21st century string quartet in practice. You can check out the full video on Bayo's YouTube channel, or if you're releasing music of your own, stick around and find out why you might want to consider exclusive releases. With record stores fading into memory and the album sections of our favorite shopping centers disappearing, we find ourselves immersed in an era defined by an endless stream of audio content. This shift has fundamentally altered not only how we consume music, but how we regard its value, including its price. In this evolving landscape, exclusive musical releases take on an increasingly pivotal role.